Hello everyone, uh, killer gameplay from Dead by Daylight. Uh, playing as the clown and playing in the game. I uh, love the game as killer. Uh, it's it's a tough tough enough uh, survivor map. Uh, there's no there's no real looping pallets on this uh, map. They're all throw down pallets really. They're all between corridors where. Uh, trying to loop that pallet there really really dangerous. Uh, the killer doubles back. You really don't know where to go. Uh, I play survivor in this map. The there's one room uh, I like, and it's the room with the two pallets and the the little office. Uh, that's the best running. That room there, straight ahead of me there. I like that room for running. And then there there's another. There's another good uh, run uh, part then, it's the long uh, steps up where you ju jump down into the room with the pig's head. Well if you can go back up the stairs and you can repeat that route two or three times before it blocks you off. But I learned that, the, the, look at these pallets, they're not lipping pallets. You really just throw those pallets down. A real tough survivor map this. But my perks here are the agitation, remember me, uh, barbecue and chili, and butter murmur. Uh, butter murmur's a good perk now. They've they've changed the, the perks. The they've had an update where a few perks has changed, like the tinkerer and. Butter Murmur. Butter Murmur is a good perk now. Every time a chance completed, you can see the aura of the survivors. Uh, I think when it's tier 3, Butter Murmur, when all the gens are done, you can see all the auras of the survivors for 10 seconds. Uh, if you've got Remember Me, and you've got the 6 stacks of Remember Me and Butter Mur Murmur, you you really could do a lot of damage at the end of the game because yeah, you'll see where all this which gate the survivors are going to and uh, it's going to take them uh, 30 seconds longer with remember me to open that gate uh, that's the other good running part that I said there These survivors are really pushy at the gens there. You see, Meg there was going to the gen again, touching it while I was chasing her. Yeah, but that stairs there, once you run up there and drop down into the room of the, the pig, wherever the, the staircase spawns, whether it's to the left or the right. Will you just come up the stairs again? Oh, it's it's over there to me right this time. You come up the stairs and you just you keep repeating that process. It's a, it's probably the second best place in this map to waste killer time. I'm not tunneling this Meg here. I, I always give the survivors a fair chance but it was a bit peculiar there that the way she was always touching the gen with me being there I was I was getting gen rushed a lot in, in these games leading up to this game and I, I'm sort of expecting the same thing although this game wasn't a quick game I really hate playing against the clown a real tough killer to play against. Really puts the run on now to you, so he does. And if you're the pallet, he throws that gas to one side and then he comes the other way. A real tough killer to, to play against. And he, he's fast as well too. 
you're a killer and, and someone's trying to loop you, well, if you just stay on and don't double back, well, they're not going to loop that pot too much. You see the butter murmur there, you can see the auras, everyone. And that's my obsession, them. Um, Every time I hit that obsession, I'm filling up that Remember Me. I've got five stacks already. And we're down to the, the one gen. Uh, it was pretty much a gen rush up to this stage. Uh, it's only uh, five and a half minutes there, the four gen's done. But they left uh, two gens really close together upstairs, and that, that really worked in my favour. Really if these survivors had uh, done that uh, gen in, in the game room there, downstairs, I really could have been in trouble. I don't know, this Meg, uh, he's got some juke moves. I'd I was struggling to land an attack a few times. I'm really glad we're playing on the game and there's there's really nowhere to go for them running. But these are the two gens I'm talking about that they left really close. And some of these gens they're really pumping, they're really ready to be popped. I'm so glad I've got the six stacks of remember me. I really was playing fair here with these people, I really didn't tunnel or, or camp anyone. Normally you see me play a a killer, it's normally generator defense with the hellbilly. He's the only killer that you can use for generator defense, but uh, I have Michael Myers P3 and I have all all the perks for Michael Myers. I have all the perks for the Hellbilly. Um this last while I really just dedicated all my blood points to Maxing out the Huntress and the Doctor and the Rift and the Trapper and the Clown. I know a lot of people likes playing as the Spirit. I don't know. I just I just don't like the Spirit for some reason. And the Nurse, the Nurse is the, the worst killer in the game. Even if you're a, a good operator with the Nurse, but. It, uh, a lot of people who knows how to juke the nurse and it's really tough. The, the blank just isn't always that accurate and the nurse is the slowest killer there. I play against so many nurses as a survivor that that have juked so many of the, the blanks that after a while the nurse just starts coming after you without blinking and I only like juking the nurse whenever I'm out in open space, and the nurse figures this out. And then she just stays on you, where, well she'll, she's the slowest killer but she'll always catch you. I don't like Freddy as well. And if you come up against a real good team of survivors, well, if they're not in the dream world, they're blocking hooks and and you have to drop the survivor to put them in the dream world and then when you pick that survivor up, someone else comes in and uh, Freddy can be a nightmare. I've seen one time I was playing Freddy where there was someone injured and, uh, and they were in dream world and I was tr trying to get them. But all these survivors just came out of nowhere and started healing this person and, and I was I take so long to put them in the dream world and 
if the surviving plays not good, well, Freddy, Freddy's a good killer, but if the survivors are really pulling together, well, Freddy, Freddy really struggles. Yeah, I wouldn't play killer with Leatherface or the Huntress without play with your food. Just way too slow. Like if you're Leatherface, Leatherface, and you're you're chasing someone like Auto Heaven Records, where there's loads of pallets. And Jen's Jen Rush, you can get Jen rushed in five and a half minutes in this game. And there's just no no way you're gonna do well with Leatherface and Auto Heaven Records, especially up against the Jen Rush. When it comes to pallet looping, uh. Even Leatherface is really slow. They're not going to get any more into loops if you just stay right on them. Even if they throw the pallet down and stun you or whatever, they're not looping that pallet any more than two times. But I believe with the Gen Rush, you don't even need to loop against the Gen Rush. All you need is someone running around throwing those pallets down. As long as there are three, three people are Gen Rushing. I'm really not liking this uh, kid dancing here. She's very pushy on the the Jan here. You'll see. I, I give her a, a chance here. I give her. Uh, I've seen her being healed, and I've went and got someone new many times, but she just kept going to the Jan. She's on death hook, and she was just playing a little bit too game. I don't know, these survivors probably expected me to. They really want to down someone, go and take that person to the hook, and they were just going to go and pop my gem, but that wasn't happening. I really wanted to land a hit on all these survivors. I double pop this game, and it's not even the, the longest of games really. It's it's just that I've had so four survivors right to the end that I've landed so many hits, uh, I've maxed my brutality, and I've gassed so many of them that I've maxed my deviousness, and I've with so four survivors there always disrupting them while they were working on gens. I was getting triple chaser for just finding three of them in the gen and, and I've maxed the chaser and I've hooked everyone twice except for the Claudette I'm still haven't hooked the Claudette yet uh, those survivors they really dedicated themselves to that gen that was 80% complete there. They really should have been down and doing that gen downstairs. Real lucky game for the clown here. And at this stage, the game was so tough for me that I really don't want no one like skipping this game. I see the David King there. I pretended I didn't see him.
Now, it was really fair to uh, the survivors, and you know, it was a real tough game. The Meg and the Kate Denson was very pushy on the Jens, and, and they were both were in death hook. And I'm really up against it, one Jen left, and it's really nearly ready to be popped. Uh, the last people you expect to keep finding, touching that Jen, was the, the two people that was in death hook. So I killed them first, and... And it's just, it's funny how this game can go, but really tough. Five minutes, four gens done, and really haven't hooked uh, everyone, and... And then they dedicated themselves to that gen, and that's when it, everything just worked in my favour. I like the clown, I'm not the best player with the clown, but I see some guys there when I play against them, a survivor, that they're real crafty where they throw their bottles of gas. Now I'm just not that good at the clown yet, but he's definitely a good killer and I'm gonna I'm gonna get some better perks with this guy. A yeah, nice double pup. A game that really could have been a a D rank that turned into a double pup. <laughs> 